Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Get y'all ass up. What y'all doing? <laughs> I am in the mood to run my mouth and talk some shit. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, probably not for a whole long time. And I always, always, every, I feel like I always say this. I always say, yeah, I'm not going to talk for a long time. I'm not going to talk for a long time. And then I end up talking for forever. Um, But I just, there's so much like, <laughs> that's why I was like trying to figure out what exactly to speak about. Um, But definitely, I feel like, of course, this, the Soidi and Quavo thing, like I want to talk about that shit. Um, but I think I do. I think I want to start with Donnie McClurkin just because it was, like I said, my description box, it kind of ties into some of the things that I want to, or it, it ties into a lot of the discussions like, uh, on religion. Um, especially I feel like Lil Nas X kind of ignited that shit. And now everyone is, uh, speaking about it, especially on social media and on Twitter and all that. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to start with him first and then we'll get to some other stuff. And of course I will, oh shit, my bad. Hold on. And of course I will be looking at the comments to see what y'all want me to talk about as usual. Um, but like this Donnie McClurkin thing is really, uh, let me, I don't know if I should read. You know what? I think I should. I think I should. I don't know if y'all have seen it. Let me see. What is up, everybody? I don't know if y'all have seen it. I don't know. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick, real quick. Oh, shit. Did I fuck that up? What's up, y'all? Hold on. <laughs> Giving a bit of technical difficulties. Um, but okay, I'm just gonna keep talking. <laughs> so the, there was a clip that kind of went a little bit viral on social media, and it involved Donnie McClurkin, and he was talking about, um, like the headline was Donnie McClurkin basically says that he's going to spend the rest of his life alone. And it's like the headline was like, oh, because he does not know what woman want. Like he doesn't know what a woman wants. He doesn't know how to give. That's what he said. So I'm going to read some of what he said. And then I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. So he said, honestly, the only thing in my life that is missing is marriage. He said, the only thing that is missing in my life um, that can cause real family is marriage. Like, I just want you to pay attention to, to some of the things that he's saying. Some of the shit is like, it's just, sad. To, to me, it's sad. Because emotionally, this is what he said, emotionally, I'm getting it together. But the only thing that's missing out of everyone um, or out of everything that I'm doing locally, cross country and globally is that aspect that makes family Family is that wife that would make man whole, that element that brings favor to man. Uh, he said, I don't know how to have the relationship. I don't, I didn't know really uh, what a woman wanted. I've messed up more than I've had good. My past relationships are a sprinkling of everything, men and women. I don't know how to do this. And because of that, when things get rough, I go back into my safe space or safe place, my music and my ministry. I want to lay down next to someone that's going to be with me for the rest of my life. I really do. I miss the fact that I did not have the family unit that that I could lay next to my spouse with my baby on my chest uh, and be this quintessential dad that raises up a family that I saw in my dreams and I wanted in my heart. So never having a long-term relationship and never being married, I chalked that up. I'll probably be alone for the rest of my life as far as a mate is concerned. Happiness is something that's relative. I've got joy. Joy is consistent. So he's, he's talking about this. And it's just coupled with, coupled that with the fact that 
Like he was on here talking about like they were all and I definitely poked fun at his ass for saying that shit. Like he was on here talking about, oh, I'm not seeing the comments. Um, he was on here talking about, oh, you know, I've I've been delivered, I've been de delivered from homosexuality and all this. And it's just like when I think, like I said. It kind of these conversations that we have when we're talking about Lil Nas X and when we're when we're talking about um, homosexuality and when we're talking about the church and all this shit. It really it really relates so much um, to to this kind of experience that Donnie McClurkin is describing. Just because there's so many um, there's there's so many like I said there's so many stories of people who you know, claim to be delivered from homosexuality and all that. And meanwhile, the only thing that they're doing is suppressing themselves and preventing themselves from living the fullest life that they can. And it's very difficult to do that when you've been raised all your life in very bigoted churches. Um, it's very difficult for you because because y'all already know how I feel about religion. Y'all already know, especially certain fundamentalist religions, they, they play on your sense of like, they take advantage of your <laughs> desire to survive. They take advantage of um, people's ideas of what is in the afterlife and all of that. They take advantage. It, like they really convince you that if you suppress yourself enough and if your gay ass just doesn't, you know, listen, what is it? Don't act on your desires. If you don't act on your desires, then you'll be fine. But if you do, you're going to burn up in hell. You know, and then so you have people with, with that shit ingrained in their minds over and over and over for years and years and years. They grandmamas, they mamas, everybody, they dad, you know what I mean? Everybody in their family is um, or maybe everybody in their church family, or whatever, has that same mentality. So to step out of it is almost like unheard of. And so you have people who are grown, like not allowing themselves to live their own fucking lives. And so. That's why it was really ridiculous when I think when people come up, like especially LGBT people say, hey, this is the experience overall that we've had, especially in a lot of these Christian ass churches. This is um, this is our experience. I mean, you see people like Donnie McClurkin, like literally stifling himself and saying, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to spend the rest of my life alone. You'll, you'll see all of that. And the first instinct that a lot of people have is to be like, well, that's not what, what Christianity actually is. And that's not who my God is. And it's like, bitch, that's not what the fuck. That's not important. What What's important is what actually has happened and is happening to people um, underneath this religious or underneath whatever God y'all talking about. You see what I'm saying? So I just, when people challenge that, like Lil Nas challenged that, or other artists do challenge that also, but when people challenge that, like the, the first instinct, like I said, is for them to go on the defense instead of actually listening to the harm that has been caused to a lot of communities. Um, I apologize. I really think there's something <laughs> up with the comments. I'm sorry. Um, but... I, I don't think people realize the damage that that is often being done. And I think that especially if you are not a part of certain marginalized communities that have experienced that damage and have experienced that shit, um, you're not going to fully know unless you shut the fuck up and listen. <laughs> like, Unless you shut the hell up and listen, you're not going to fully know. So it just, it doesn't help. I just want people to know that shit. It does not help for, for especially if you're already entrenched in that <laughs> weird old religious shit. Like it doesn't help anybody when you come, when they come to you saying, hey, these are the experiences that I'm having for you to be like, oh, well, girl, that, you know, that's not right. You shouldn't, you should be okay. It's personal. It's personal. And that's why I tweeted. I was, I'm like, it be it usually be the biggest bigots who talk about oh well the relationship with God is personal, um and and y'all should come to y'all. It's never personal. It's never personal because y'all don't shut the fuck up. Y'all don't shut the fuck up. 
if it was personal, you would let people live their fucking life and you would shut the hell up with your personal ass beliefs. But it's never personal because y'all want to run your mouth. Y'all want to um, stifle people and tell them that they're not experiencing what they're actually experiencing. I think that shit is weird. I think that shit is weird. And like, like I said before, instead of worrying about CGI devils and shit, y'all need to worry about the very real consequences um, of religious brainwashing, like we see in Donnie McClurkin, of um, literally indoctrination. Y'all need to worry about the very real suicides. Y'all re need to worry about the, like, dumbing. That shit dumbs people down to a point where it's easy to manipulate them and abuse them. And that's what a lot of leaders in certain circles, certain religious circles do to people, abuse them after they have degraded their sense of self and have taken away their mental defenses. So yeah, that's what I think about that whole Donovan Clark thing. Uh, I know I've been on this relationship shit for a long periodically time, but um, I just had to, I just had to get that shit off my chest, especially when I seen that, when I seen that clip of Donnie talking, it was just, it was extremely sad because I think, especially when I was still trying to break free of that like brainwashing bullshit, I think, you know, I, I'm sure there are other LGBT people who can relate. It's like when you're in there internalizing all that shit, internalizing hatred, that's what you're doing. Um, you literally, you, you sound like Donnie McClarkin. You used to be like, well, bitch, I'm just going to be alone for the rest of my life. Like, you know, if, if that means I got to sacrifice, literally you have to sacrifice your, your own, your desires, your, your needs as a human being. So you won't burn in hell. That shit is, that shit will fuck with your mind, you know? So I, I just, I think that there are many people, many LGBT people all, around the world, um, who can relate to what I'm saying. And who can understand that, un understand where Donnie McClurkin is coming from, or at least a mindset where it's like you think that this is all there is. That's it. I just got to hang it. I got to just chalk it up. Like he said, I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. I'm, I'm never going to find love. I'm never going to, you know what I mean? I think, uh, oh shit, you know what? I, I think I found a way. I think I found a way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. 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 I think I found a way. I think I found a way. Hold on. Yes. Okay. Okay. I see the comments now. Period. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I couldn't. I couldn't see the comments at all. Oh, thank you, Winers. <laughs> I couldn't see the comment. Thank you, Chris. I couldn't see the comments at all. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it now. I got it now. Sorry if I'm looking down now. I'm just looking at my phone <laughs> so I can see the comments. <laughs> um. Religious. Okay. So. Oh my gosh. It's so nice to see y'all. Oh wow. Um. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, what's up, JR, Mariah, Alicia? Uh, religious trauma is so real, and it's really frustrating that people follow blindly. It is frustrating, but what I try to do, and y'all already know I'm so intense with this shit, but I try to remember, like, okay, <laughs> uh, religion has definitely, um, it has, it has, it has improved people's lives in certain cases. Like it has helped people get through certain things. Like I can't sit here and deny that, you know? So I have to remember that. But at the same time, I am, I see so much damage. I've seen so much damage. I think it's, it has to do obviously with the com communities that I find myself in, but I cannot sit here and deny that there is a lot of damage that's being done. And I think that it, it, it would be easier to talk about. It would be easy to handle if people would admit, OK, yes, it does help people in certain cases. It definitely helps people's lives. Um, but at the same time, you cannot sit here and be blind to the damage that it has done. And you also it's very invalidating. Um, um, China from 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 Black Lightning, she did a TikTok and I was pressed about it on, t on Twitter. So, of course, I was running my mouth about it. But it's very invalidating to sit here and be like, Oh well, y'all. It's just that God. It's just it's your, your personal relationship. It's, uh, it was that specific church that you went to that really fucked you up. That's not what real Christianity is supposed to be like. It's like that's not the conversation that we're having. It, like I said, it gives me very much white supremacist tease. Oh well, that it was just that one. It was just that white person that you had experience with. Oh, it was just okay. Yeah, that may be true, but we cannot deny that there is an overall trend that needs to be taken care of.
it was so trippy to see myself on the goddamn phone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, it's, I think we have to be very careful. And I think the, the conversations have to be real now. Like it, it, it's, it's, it has to be real. Like, okay, we get it. Y'all fairy tale is, is, is working for you. That's cool. But it has to, now we have to approach it from a, a point of reality. Okay. Of, of what's actually happening to, to young, especially queer youth who have been brainwashed. Like that's it. Um, no, not black China. <laughs> from Black Lightning. <laughs> Black China. Are you testing other deities? <laughs> Are you worshiping other bitches? <laughs> See, that's why you, why you... Don't take me seriously, bitch. I hate y'all so much. <laughs> Are you worshiping other bitch? Are you worshiping other fucking houses of worship, bitch? <laughs> Are you are you transcending with other bitches? Are you being raptured with other bitches? <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Hate y'all so much. Oh my god, my stomach. Y'all are annoying. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, y'all want to talk about the sweetie stuff? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I can see the comments. Okay, shit, shit. Okay. <sighs> So, first of all, I have to say that I have to remember that, like, there are people with different experiences on my TL, so I have to be careful when I'm sharing these type of videos. That's why usually I try to filter what I put in my YouTube video, but I didn't think about it on my Twitter, so apologize for that. Um, but, but at first glance, when I saw it, it looked like Quavo was just tossing the fuck out of sweetie all across the goddamn elevator. But as I looked even closer and rewatched it, it looked like, I don't know if there was a, if that was a suitcase or something. It looked like sweetie was trying to get away from Quavo and trying to take her shit and go. Now, like I said in my description, I think that the response to the video is almost as big a story as the video itself. And the reason I say that is because like every time there's this, like anytime there's like violence or any type of abuse or something, there's always this wave that comes forward of like, oh, y'all bitches are too soft. Oh, um, you know, when I was dating somebody, we used to toss each other around like that. Oh, um, my mom used to dr drag the shit. You know, like any, any, anytime something comes out, there's like, there's always this justification for that shit. Oh, well, my mom used to take a uh, frying pan and beat the shit out of me on across the head with it. You bitches are too soft. You hoes are too soft. And it's like, okay, there's a, there's been a lot of people saying this online, and I'm going to add my voice to it. Just because something has happened often, or maybe even historically, culturally, just because it doesn't mean that that shit should have been normalized. You know what I mean? Like, it's so weird for people to come. It's so weird for people to come and be like, oh, well, girl, the, the first response to toxicity and violence is like, oh, well, it's not that serious. Instead of how can we make sure this shit don't happen again, you know? Or how can we make sure, how can we have a conversation about this um, that highlights victims and makes sure that this type of behavior is not normalized? I, I like, it's crazy. <laughs> like, but usually in situations like that, it's just, I don't know, they said this shit happened last year, like in 2020. Um, I've just seen so many people say where it it it's it started out the toxic relationship that they may have had, it's a romantic relationship. It usually starts off with like shoves and pushes, and then it ends up with like black eyes and shit, you know. And I feel like when you normalize the, 
I don't even want to say, how do I say it? When you normalize the shoving and pushing and and yelling and screaming and shit, when you normalize that shit and you talk about, oh, well, girl, that's just that's just tough love. That's, you know, black people love to love. Like, girl, please stop saying that shit. <laughs> like, black, black people are very capable of having <laughs> relationships without toxicity in it. Like, come on, stop playing. Stop playing. You know, so, but when you normalize those things, I think it's easier. Um, Jesus, I look like my mama. <laughs> like, I look, I look like my mama in this shit. Okay, sorry. Uh, when you normalize those things, it's easier for it to, 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 to escalate, to escalate. And I think that's why it, as much as people say, oh, y'all are too sensitive or whatever, I think it's very important to have the conversations when it's like, shoving and pushing and shit because then you end up in a different place and you may have, you know what I mean? Never thought that you were going to ever be there. So I don't know. I, I'm just happy that Saweetie is out of that situation. I'm happy that they they have both like gone their separate ways. Although I just, it's so strange because I'm sitting here talking about it. You know what I mean? But I can only imagine how intrusive it must feel for you to have already gone through that toxic relationship, for you to have already gone through that shit. And then now you have the whole internet chiming in on your situation, which you have like grown to escape. You know what I mean? It's just the world is interesting, especially when you add the internet in the mix. I think it's like... <laughs> it's it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, Dr. Payne, thank you. Hi, I love your commentary. Oh, thank you. What's up? What's up, everybody? Sorry, I have to look at my phone to see. Yeah, what's up? Oh. Um, child, I really want to talk about this. Okay, well. Did y'all see that Zola? Y'all remember that Zola thread? Um, there is a movie coming out for it. I, I could have sworn that they said they were going to do that movie sooner. I guess they didn't really give a release date. But I feel like it's been like five years since that thread came out. Anyway, I just thought it was cool. T.S. Masters. And T.S. Masters stayed booking busy. That shit is iconic. <laughs> I did not expect to see her in it, but she, she was in the trailer. I can't wait to see what it's going to be giving. Because the original threat was wild. So I, I want to see, like, if they're going to change anything or, you know, like, I don't know. That, that shit seems cool. But I wanted to mention that before I go into some of the politics. Most of it is just going to focus on Matt Gates, And then that's it. But, and today's a trans day of visibility, is it not? I thought it was crazy that, I don't know, is it just... I sometimes I think that these these uh the, these politicians and these governments do do certain crazy things around like Trans Day of Visibility or like Pride or anything like that. I think they do some of that crazy shit around these days on purpose. I don't know if that's like <laughs> reaching, but I think they do that shit. Like Arkansas was would literally say, "Hey, guess what? No more fucking trans." Uh, no more healthcare for trans individuals or or gender affirming care for trans individual trans um, minors. I wish I lived in a world where the government would listen to um, trans people, parents of trans kids, when it, when they came to uh, creating laws about their healthcare. I think it's actually crazy. Um, that we pay for these, that we pay for these uh, politicians to have health care and they think they can walk around here. Well, they actually can. Um, they walk around here taking health care from people. I think it's how, how the fuck do you, how the fuck do you take, you, you take health care away from a human? I just, <laughs> it's just while y'all are walking around here, not having to worry about your own. It's, it's, it's just, it's craziness. And I do wish also that people would do their research because they claim to care about like, oh yeah, minors, tra trans kids, y'all are, are fucking them up. 
not listening to the research and say, hey, guess what? If you don't provide them care, you're, you're, you are um, adding to their already hard fight. Like if you just do the, re just do the research. Like I, do y'all know that cis people can take, uh, cis people sometimes take puberty blockers too. Do you know what puberty blockers are? I just, I just want people to do their fucking research. But the thing is like, oftentimes, and I have to remember that too, oftentimes research does not replace or, or cannot overpower someone's fucking bigotry. Like, sometimes you just gotta move them bitches out the way and that's what's gonna have to happen. That's what's gonna, that's what's gonna have to happen. Dwayne Wade said that essentially, if I can remember what he said, but essentially he was like, hate is hate will, will not be final, love always wins, something like that. And it does, but it's just like, God damn, we gotta move them hoes out the way. <laughs> like, I think another crazy thing that happened in politics um, was that the Wisconsin, listen to this shit, I think it's coming from uh, AP. Uh, the Wisconsin Supreme Court struck down Governor Tony Evers statewide mask mandate, ruling that the Democrat exceeded his authority by issuing the order. The four to three ruling from the court is the latest legal blow to attempts by Evers to control the coronavirus. Now, whenever you see Wisconsin Supreme Court in the goddamn headline, you should already know that that shit ain't going to be um, cute for anybody. But I th I think it's crazy that the gut like the governor the governor is saying, hey, guess what, girls? I'm trying to protect y'all. Put on your mask. And then you have political opponents. How can you be a, like? But but see, that's the craziness that I'm talking about. When you deprioritize what science. And you allow these loonies to talk about whatever the fuck they want to talk about just because they feel like they can or they feel like some old ass book gives them authority. Like it's it's like I don't y'all could do what y'all want to do, but do it in, on your own island somewhere. Actually, no, because last time y'all did some shit on your own island. <sighs> Am I right? But what I'm saying is some of these things. But then. <sighs> Some of these things should not even be an option. But like I said, I don't think I don't think I trust myself with no power because remember I told y'all I don't trust myself with power because if the minute y'all start, start talking about some dumb shit, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, shut all that shit down, shut all that shit down. You hoes put on a mask and shut the fuck up. I'm not arguing. I'm not debating with no hoes. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I mean? So that's that's why I don't. Uh, -uh I can't do it because bitch, I will turn around. I'll be I'll be Palpatine on you hoes. I promise you. I'll activate the war powers. I promise you. I'll activate the emergency war powers and never let go of them hoes because bitch, you hoes need to put on your mask and shut the fuck up. And, and make sure you get in line to get that vaccine too and shut the fuck up. You see what I'm saying? But I think some of these things should not even be options. Why are you arguing against using masks during a fucking global pandemic? That should not be an option. It should not even be a debate. But see, when you when you start shutting down the base, that it gets us, it's a slippery slope. And I know all about that shit. But what I'm saying is that's why you can't. I'll, I'll turn into Daenerys on you hoes. I promise you I would. I'll turn into Daenerys on you hoes, and it'll be done. I made a live. Oh shit. Oh shit. What Billy Bob? Oh <laughs> Billy Bob said, take gay rights away. Let me see. Y'all said get him out of here. Hold on. Take gay rights away. We got to have them first, sweetie. We got to we gotta have them first, sweetie. Hey, B.O.B., so they calling you Bob. Shut the fuck up. So they, ca so they calling you Bob. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Them bitches be like, oh my God, take away. Take this, take gay rights away. Well, we had to, don't we have to have, hmm. 
I thought that you had to have something first before that shit could be taken the fuck away. Hmm. I literally, I literally spent my time talking about um, the fact that Arkansas was just like, girl, no more health care for you bitches. And you're talking about, I'm like, okay, they're listening. They're listening to you, Billy Bob. They you take 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 the rights away. They're listening. Okay, boo. The weirdo. <laughs> we have to put that bitch in time out, ho. And last but not least. Matt Gates is up on the chopping block, and let me tell you something. There is no greater joy than I have seeing that somebody say he looked like syndrome. Somebody, listen, what the fuck I'm saying to you? Somebody say he looked like syndrome off of um, Incredibles on Twitter, and I had to retweet that shit. Matt Gates, I really next time. Next time, I won't even call movers. <clears throat> won't even call U-Haul or anything like that because Matt Gates' head is so fucking boxy. I feel like I could store, you talk about storage, storage bins? You talk about fucking... Matt Gates' head, if you literally do that shit, it's 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 like you're fucking gambling, bitch, because this head is like a die. Like it looked like it's giving me very much Rubik's Cube type of tease, Matt, Matt Gates. Matt Gates, you're you are giving me Rubik's Cube and don't nobody. Don't nobody know how to solve that motherfucking square ass puzzle. I hate it. I hate it. Matt Gates, you are under investigation. Let me make sure I got it right. <clears throat> this is coming from NPR. The New York Times first reported Tuesday that just the Justice Department is investigating Gates who is 38 over whether he had a sexual relationship with a 17 year old and paid for her travel oh, and paid for her to travel with him, possibly violating federal sex trafficking laws. The time said that the probe first began in the waning days of the Trump administration and that the investigation is part of a broader look into an ally of Gates uh, named Joel Greenberg, a former Florida County official uh, who was indicted on charges including sex trafficking of a child? He also, Matt Gates was also the only member of Congress, I think. I don't know. He's one of the only members. If, if I can remember, I need to make sure I get these things right. But there was some provision, some something that they were voting on that would have given the government more power to go and go after like um sex traffickers and shit like that. Matt, Matt Gates apparently voted against it. I need to look up exactly what it is, though. So, you know. Always make sure you do your own research, like I always say, but um, it's not looking too good for his ass. And I just remember how much of a fucking asshole he was during like a lot of these uh, hearings and shit. <laughs> it, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. But it wouldn't surprise me one bit. I mean, th these girls are going back to 2017, bring up pictures. <laughs> shit, it's not, it's not looking cute for him. Um, but what I, as usual, I'm sure you can guess what, if, if you are around Trump, uh, you, you are allied with Trump. I'm sure you can guess what his rebuttal was to these charges. It, I'm sure you can guess. And, you know, it's just like any other fucking narcissist. It's just like any other weirdo, like. It's someone else's fault. It's always somebody else's fault. So he says somebody, I guess, is trying to extort him. Is 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 apparently uh, what's going on? Yeah, someone at the Justice Department is trying to ex extort him. I think the number was twenty five million or some shit. I'm just like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, can you 
imagine spending your time like you literally worked hard as a fucking snake in in Washington. You worked hard to get to the position that you're at, just fucking people over, just being a snake. And you're going to use the brain that took you to fucking Washington. And you're, that brain tells you that Matt Gates is worth 25 minutes. Like, it's just, <laughs> fucking with Matt Gates. <laughs> Bitch, you're Matt Gates. <laughs> you're Matt Gates. Are mad gays. <laughs> you are mad gays. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, they're after me. They're after me. Bitch, you remember when Bow Wow was running in the street and no one was chasing after him and he was like recording himself? I don't know if it was on Instagram or something. He was recording himself talking about, oh yeah, girl, they all know who I am. They're running after me. Like, girl, you are mad gays. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Like you, like he really. This is what he said. You want, you want to hear this shit? He said, "Listen to shit. Listen to this shit." I, if I was his lawyer, I'd be like, "Bitch." Well, first of all, I'm gonna be a lawyer for Matt Gates. But like, I would tell him to shut the fuck up, nigga. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> These allegations against me are as searing as they are false. I believe that there are people at the just department. Listen, I believe that there are people at the Department of Justice who are trying to criminalize my sexual conduct. You know, when I was a single guy. <laughs> I don't bitch, it gets worse, though. It gets worse. I would be like, bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> He said, I have a suspicion that someone is trying to recategorize my generosity to my ex-girlfriends as something more untoward or, or uh, inappropriate. I have a suspicion that someone is trying to recategorize my generosity. Come on, T.I. I I'm just trying to figure out how... I, okay. <laughs> so, oh, so he's saying that because he paid to take this woman over state lines, and his, <laughs> that's his generosity that they're <laughs> she's seventeen. <laughs> man, just shut the fuck up, man. Just, just shut the fuck up, man. Just shut the, just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> you just. Oh my God. Oh my God. And what's crazy is that these like these 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 people are cutthroat, bitch. These people are cutthroat. And it's and you know, I often wondered like it, so, some of these things that come out, you bitches in government have to know that these bitches are up to some of that shit. Like you have to know. And what happens is y'all probably wait for a a, a specific moment like all politicians do to, to, to execute an attack. But it's just like, it's annoying when y'all know this shit goes on. Y'all don't do shit about it until it's time to be, until, until it's politically advantageous for y'all. Like you cannot tell me that all these, I mean, not just about Matt Gates, but I'm just in general, like, Oh, all of a sudden randomly, you know, all, all types of evidence comes out about some specific person. You cannot tell me that these bitches are, are not sitting around in DC and they don't know shit about that shit. Like you, <laughs> like, like, yes, Trey, I'm literally crying at this shit. This shit is hilarious to me. I mean, obviously it's not hilarious that there are victims involved, but it's just the arrogance of Matt and a lot of other people like him is, is hilarious because they really think that everyone else is out to get them. Like they don't, they don't even, take responsibility for their actions. They they have no plans to be held accountable at all. And and they they really think that these these bullshit ass statements and they really think they're smarter than they are and it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um it's, yes, Jordan says projection. That's exactly it. 
Oh shit. Okay, y'all said we need mods. Okay, okay. I gotta think about that shit. Um, I felt like I had some though. I thought I had some. Let me see. Um, hold on, hold on. There you go. You wanna be a mod? Don't go ahead. <laughs> um so yeah, that's it. I think that's all the um heavy ass news I want to talk about. Um what else? I'm trying to think of anything else. I did end up watching um Miss Godzilla this morning. And uh the action sequences, I will say, were cute. Um, however, I will say that some of these movies, I guess, just take the humans out of it. That's something I'm, I'm just like, bitch, I just want to see that monkey and that lizard fight, bitch. I want to see, bitch, I want to see. I want to see, bitch. I want to see that monkey and that motherfucking gorilla. I mean, they, they, that monkey and that goddamn lizard fight, bitch. Just take them humans out of it. It's okay, boo. Y'all can't. It's it's y'all can't do no compelling story with these these humans. No way. It's like it's hard to do that shit. I guess when you got um, you know, gorillas taller than skyscrapers fighting and shit. I don't know how some of these these main characters survive. You know, buildings falling down around them and fucking laser breath. But that's it. Is what it is. We don't watch that shit for um, the human beings. We watch it for the fight. So yeah, I just, I guess I watched it, it got my life. Um, the, the acting is not that bad. It's not that bad, but it's just like, I think that they really try to, not, they don't, I don't know. They might have made an attempt, there we go, to get you to be emotionally invested in some of these human beings. And it's just like, I remember dozing off one time when they were like having a conversation. I was literally doing this, bitch. I was like, oh shit, I'm about to. And as soon as fucking King Kong did this shit, I woke up and said, bitch, what's the tea? <laughs> I said, I said, I said, bitch, what's the what's the tea, bitch? You ready to fight? Because bitch, that's all I came here for. We ready to uh toss Godzilla ass around the goddamn city, bitch. What's the tea? It was cute. It was. I mean, I said, "Oh, bitch, the, the Witcher." They they actually just finished finished finished. Wow, finished filming for The Witcher season two. So I think Henry Cavill had some injuries or something like that. But I'm glad that they finished that shit because I'm ready. Um, hurry up and release it. Toss a coin to your Witcher. To your nigga, oh, Valley and Plenty. Oh, I need to get the fuck off here. I need to get the fuck off here. Anyway, I love y'all so much. Love y'all so much. Hopefully, we had an informative, good ass conversation. Um, we had an informative, good ass conversation on Patreon. I gotta plug it in always. Plug it in, plug it in. Thank you all so much for signing up and all that. It really does help. And if you are signed up on Patreon, you know what's coming. That's all I'm going to say. You know what's coming. Um, but everyone will find out eventually. Anyway, my birthday's next month. I mean, yeah, right? What? Yeah, my birthday's next month. So very excited about that. We'll never let y'all forget it. <laughs> 19th. Um, yeah, I love y'all so much. See y'all. Follow me on Twitter. I'll be running my mouth. Yeah, thank you for the, the super chats and the love and the comments and shit. Sorry I was like not seeing the comments until halfway. <laughs> I love y'all. Bye.